Hello guys, I am Ashish and in today's video, I will show you how to install Cordova and run your first Android project. So let's get started. So these are the list of software which we are going to install is Android Studio, Gradle, Node.js, Git, Intel, a Hardware Acceleration Manager and Java JDK. Java JDK actually have already installed it in my system and Android Studio is also installed in my system. So I will install Git first of all. Wait for 2 to 3 minutes till the installation gets completed. Now install Node.js Again wait for a minute to get installation completed After installing Node.js, now we are going to install Gradle. Open the uh, RAR file and extract it into the uh, C drive.
now open android studio then create a new project so we are going to set up a new device for executing our android app Click on start a new Android Studio project. Now go click on next, next, next. Uh, make sure to select API level 25 of Android 7.1.1 Nougat. Create empty and click on finish. Now go on tools. You will see Android. In Android, open AVD Manager, create a new virtual device. I will be using Nexus 5. You can use any of this device. Click on Next. Make sure to download API level 25 Android Nougat. If you are not showing the download option, make, uh, click on that and uh, click on the Next button. Or else, go on Other Images. You will find two Nougats with API level 25. Make sure to download both of them so you will not get any error while ex uh, making or running the project. Click on finish. Now close the project and Android Studio. Now we are going to install Codawa. Now open C drive where we have copied extracted the Gradle file. You will find Gradle 4.2.1 Open it In Gradle folder you will find bin folder Copy the path of till the bin folder and This path we are going to Paste into the system environment folder Now Enter Environment In a startup menu So you will find edit the system environment variables Open environment variables you will find path in user variables and system variables open the path in user variable create a new and paste your path into it click on ok now we are going to paste this path into the system variables open system variable create create a new and paste and click on ok then we are going to add a new java option Create a new unders type underscore java underscore options and in variable value we are going to allot a heap size of 1024 MB. So this heap size will be used for the execution of the Android app. While building the Android app this heap size will be playing a major major role to crea uh, create the build folder. Now close all the uh, windows and we are going to start installing Codova. 
So in, for installing Cordova, open Node.js command prompt. First of all, type gradle-v. So you are going to see the gradle version. Afterward, type the Java dash version. So you are going to see the Java version. So to install the Cordova, the command is npm install dash g Cordova and hit enter. You have to wait for 10 to 15 minutes while the installation of this Cordova files are being done. I will create my project into D directory so I have switched to D directory and creating a new folder known as MP and I will go into that folder and create a new project. To create a new project the code is Cordova create hello com dot username dot your project name space your android app name then hit enter go inside that folder and install an android platform to install an android platform the code is cordova platform add android after adding the android platform what you have to do is build the android project which the code is cordova build android wait for a while to add the android platform after adding now we are going to build the android project so cordova build android wait for a while until this project has been built. After building this project, what you have to do is we are going to emulate the Android project. To emulate the Android project, the command is Kodawa emulate Android. Wait till the build gets successful. Now the build is successful, we are going to emulate the Android project so code why emulate Android so now it will start the emulator which we have already set the uh, Nexus 5 for a project
as you can see a android app has been run on a emulator so you have been successfully run your android project on your the emulator without any error thank you for watching this video make sure to like share and subscribe if you have any question feel free to comment thank you